So let me welcome uh, Karim Haji, CEO of Casablanca Stock Exchange in today's interview. Welcome. Uh, market capitalization of the stock exchange topped 50 billion euros at the end of November 2010. What is your frank assessment of Morocco's capital markets? Well, as you may well be aware, Morocco is the third largest uh, capital market in Africa after South Africa and Egypt. Uh, we've been growing steadily since 1993 when uh, we underwent a major reform of the capital markets uh, which was driven by the Ministry of Finance at the time which uh, basically created a new uh, limited company uh, called uh, Bourse de Casablanca uh, with the shareholders being the uh, stockbrokers of the market. Uh, the reform also created a central depository which is Maroclear as well as a uh, market authority, which is, as you know, called the CDVM in, uh, in Morocco. So uh, since 1993, uh, I mean, the market has grown more than tenfold, 15-fold at least. Uh, just since the 2001, uh, we, had, uh, we multiplied by six uh, the market cap. Uh, we had major IPOs uh, with Maroc Telecom, uh, one of the largest uh, telecom companies in, in our continent and definitely the largest company in Morocco, which accounts for uh, something more than 20% of market cap. We had also another major IPO with the uh, introduction of uh, Adoha, the largest uh, real estate company in Morocco and many more. So the, the country has many large companies which are, uh, some of which in fact are uh, followed by uh, money managers worldwide uh, because they're part of some uh, international indices like MSCI uh, Emerging Markets. Uh, we have three Moroccan uh, companies which are part of these uh, indices. So I think the Morocco, Moroccan market has gained uh, a lot more visibility in the last uh, 10 years. For the uh, Moroccan investment community, uh, the Casablanca Stock Exchange is definitely <coughs> a place uh, to invest long-term uh, money. Uh, I'm thinking in particular of insurance companies and uh, pension funds and, and also some, uh, uh, some uh, mutual funds which are heavily invested in our markets. As you may be aware, uh, a Moroccan institutional investor cannot invest more than 10% of its assets abroad. Therefore, the main outlet for its investments uh, in the long term uh, is, is the Casablanca Stock Exchange. So that's why they're all uh, clo following very closely what our market is doing. And uh, in fact, our main investors in this market are Moroccan institutional investors, which account for roughly 50% of total market cap. We ha we've seen a drop of 13%, we've saw seen a drop of 6%. Would we, could we say that the companies in Morocco are undervalued and is it the right time to invest? The uh, Moroccan market is not undervalued at the current time. It's properly valued given the uh, uh, growth prospects of Moroccan companies, which seem to be doing quite well, uh, whether you look at banks or uh, uh, food companies or uh, real estate companies, they all have pretty good uh, growth prospects and the economy is still growing at uh, an average rate of uh, 4%. Uh, even, even in 2011, uh, the government is still forecasting a growth rate in excess of 4%. So overall, uh, I would say the market is, is correctly valued today. It's not undervalued, it's not overvalued it's valued properly given the uh, growth prospect. Uh, and we expect to have more IPOs in, in 2011. We had two IPOs only in 2010, uh, which was a year of consolidation after 2009 where we had zero IPO. Uh, we expect to have at least six or seven IPOs in, in 2011. Well, uh, we do have tax incentives for uh, companies which are going public. Um, any company which uh, sells existing shares can get 25% can get, uh, tax rebate on its uh, income tax for the next three years after introduction. And that, is, that will be in effect until 2013. 
uh, any company which issues new shares gets a 50% tax rebate. So it's uh, quite uh, an incentive. And everybody wins. In the end, uh, the government wins by earning more taxes and uh, companies win by being more transparent, attracting more investors, raising funds. Uh, so everybody wins uh, basically with this uh, measure.